the simple truth is that the deaths that occurred were all avoidable and those who lived in the tower were badly failed over a number of years and in a number of different ways by those who were responsible for ensuring the safety of the building and its occupants. They include the government, the tenant management organisation, the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea, those who manufactured and supplied the materials used in the refurbishment, those who certified their suitability for use on high-rise buildings, the architect, the principal contractor, and some of its subcontractors, in particular uh, Harley Curtain Wall and its successor Harley Facades, some of the consultants, in particular the fire engineer Exover Warrington Fire, the local authorities' building control department, and the London Fire Brigade. <coughs> <coughs> 